morning or good afternoon. This is New York City and I'm living in COVID, so this is a city that is not asleep. I am Michael Johnson and I'm here in Harlem. And today I would like to present to you from Harlem a Black History salute to all the churches that I have served as a minister of music for two decades. This is a concert of spirituals. And I just want to say briefly, the spirituals and the blues are the foundation of every single conceivable American musical art form, especially country western, which many people don't want to talk about. The country western music was called by many white affluent people hillbilly music because it came from the south. And it was inspired by black musicians who used what's called a banjo. A banjo's origins come from West Africa. It was used and made out of what was called loops. And when the slaves on the plantations in the Southwest, there's two histories in American cultures. There's the music of the Southeast and the music of the Southwest. The reason it's called country Western music is because it represents the Southwestern slaves music. Uh, the banjo was the first instrument that blacks used to make music. And actually it is the in the country western field, it is the it predates what they now use as guitars. And so this influence of black and white culture coming together has historic significance. And Black History Month should not be a celebration about the culture of black Americans only. That American in this month is what we celebrate. And the roots of country western actually can be found in uh, a famous song called This Land is Your Land, My Land. It actually is origins comes and was written by a black minister. And so that being said, I'm going to start this presentation with the music of the Southeast of the spiritual and black history celebration. And I will conclude with a representation of the Southwest, and we'll see how this prayer meditation goes. Those of you who are students of mine know how I roll. I show up for lectures unprepared, so nothing has changed at age 62. Amen. I want to introduce to you my drummer and best friend, one of my colleagues, an associate here that I work with in Harlem. His name is Eric Holder. Uh, those of you who attend the Greek or watch the Greek Baptist services on the internet, this is the man on the drums. He's also an extraordinary uh, keyboard musician himself. And with that, we shall begin in Christ's name. Amen. The Negro spirituals were not just songs. They also were a way of communicating to the other slaves if the Underground Railroad and the movements of the Underground Railroad. And one such song that's famous is Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. I'm glad I got that. I just did the speaking part. Now I got it down. 